Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and finals is upon us at the moment. The ladder has finished. Everyone's in their placements, there's home finals, there's everything. And um I just wanted to do a video about my ladder, my dream ladder, if you know what I mean, like the teams I hate and I like um from worst to best or teams where I want them where they would be placed very well in my opinion. So yeah, let's get into the video and coming in at 16th place. Yeah, uh, I'm a Rabbitohs fan, so we're just going to uh, slide the Roosters into uh, 16th there. Uh, Rabbitohs fans hate the Roosters. Roosters hate Rabbitohs. It's just a rivalry and um, yeah, just don't like the Roosters. So um, yeah, the next one is the Broncos, who um, had a bloody awful season. Um, the Broncos... I also dislike, um, I did a career mode about the uh, Broncos and, uh, I stopped for a reason because, uh, they were going very, very bad on the ladder and, um, I didn't want to continue. Uh, and also that was in the COVID break where I had actual free time now I don't. Uh, but yeah, the Broncos, they're, uh, um, just a team that I dislike. Uh, next is the Dragons. Now, yet again, another rivalry for South. Uh, uh, the Dragons, they're, they're alright, um, but just don't like them. Uh, just, it's just this thing about them, I just, it just ticks me off. Uh, next up, wrapping up the bottom four, is the Bulldogs. Now, Good Friday, Clash. Like every year, it just the Bulldogs um don't like them. They're very gritty when they were uh, had success back in um tw like early mid two thousand tens. But now they're in the bottom of the ladder. So how the tables have turned. Next up, ooh, I don't know Where, which um I guess we're gonna have to just fill in the numbers. So I have to put the Knights in at 12th um i don't mind the knights but it's just i have to find a spot for them everywhere and um newcastle uh, we play them this week um we should get the uh victory my next video will indeed be the finals week one tips so yeah stay tuned for that but yeah that's where the knights are gonna finish in my dream ladder um next up yeah, we're just going to have to fill the void, put the Cowboys in at 11th. Well, Cowboys, they're all right. They're very isolated. They're, like, all the way up in North Queensland by themselves. They're just away from everyone else. And, um, yeah, very bad season for the Cowboys. I, I like the Cowboys. It's just, you know, you got to fill the numbers. Um... Next up, uh, we'll just have to slide in the, uh, we're going to have to put the Eels in at 10th. Now, the Eels were actually my local team back in the day. Um, they are alright. I actually used to like them so much that they were my second team. But, no way, no way. Not anymore. Not after the 2020 season, they've shown me that. They are definitely not good enough to make the uh, top four. I'd rather the freaking Knights in the top four than the uh, Eagles at the moment. Uh, at ninth, you got to put in the West Tigers because I, I'd i rather put the West Tigers probably down here, but the Tigers are ninth, and in my dream ladder, that's where I want them. Um, all jokes aside at the moment, the Tigers, they are a, um, they're, they're a team that... Everyone, I, see, I seem to see lots of Tigers supporters, but they never, they haven't like made finals since 2011. They've done nothing. They've signed people that have done nothing. Like Russell Packer, Josh Reynolds, they're going to be at the club next year, but Benji Marshall and freaking like Robert Jennings and all the other people are not going to be in the club. Matt Eisenhuth even. Um, I don't know. The Tigers are just in a hole, and I don't think they'll make finals for another five or Years. They need to make a few smart signings. James Tamo was a good signing. Um, 
but I don't know if they're getting Josh Harry Carr. Most likely they are, but yeah, Tigers there at ninth. So my top eight coming at number eighth is the Melbourne Storm. I actually don't mind Melbourne. Melbourne are a very bogey team for the Rabbitohs. The Rabbitohs only beat the Melbourne Storm five times since 1998, which is where the Melbourne Storm were included. But they've been very successful. They've gone over the cap a few times. Um, that's probably how they get over the excess. Uh, probably over the cap right now as we speak. I don't know what referee Smith um, has planned for them at the end of the year. Can they go all the way? I'm, I'll probably tip them, definitely, to make prelims. I don't know about the grand final. But, yeah, guys, I'll also be doing um, season reviews for all everyone. So, probably the Broncos maybe next week with the Cowboys and the Bulldogs. And then I'll just go up my way, like, up, up, up until we finish it so we've got a few good videos coming up in the off season so yeah very good uh next up mm, we're gonna have to put in there uh mongly i meant manly <laughs> um they're better than all the teams under them i can uh, tell you that uh god just I don't know. They are they okay? They're okay. We'll just put them at okay at the moment. We'll see how we go from there. So we have six teams remaining. Six teams that I do like a lot. So coming in number six, I'm gonna have to put the Raiders. The yes, the Green Machine at six. Um, the I like them. I like them. They have um. Very good jerseys, uh, a very good culture, except for those like crazy fans who like dress up as Vikings. Like, no, not that part of it, but they're a very good team. They've made of good signings, and now they're having a little reign of success for the next few years. I don't know if they'll make the top eight in a year or two, but right now you have to put them in a contender at the moment. Uh, at fifth, I'm going to put in the Warriors. Now, I like the Warriors, and I like what they've done this year. They've shown a lot of heart. Um, they started off the season with plenty of injuries. They are, uh, you know, they fought hard. They've done this, 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 this. They had to sacrifice their homes and families for weeks. And what Roger Tulvasa-Shek has done to that team this year has been absolutely phenomenal, and he should deserve it be the captain of the year and Todd Payton could baby be the coach of the year um he's he's driven that team they had to stay at Central Coast the NRL will not be where it is at the moment if it wasn't for the New Zealand Warriors and I respect all the sacrifices that they've done for us and you've got to have the Warriors in your top eight because if you don't you're a bozo okay so next up this is hard. This is really hard. I'm going to put Cronulla at fourth. Sharkies. They haven't been a top eight uh, team this year, but uh, they're still in the top eight. Just clutching on. Canberra will probably show them. Um, you're not going to be a premiership contender. Uh, I like the Sharks. They, um, besides all the drug and dramas and all that crap, they're a good team. Um, and I, I think they deserve to not be in the top eight this year because you got your Warriors, you got your Titans who have worked so hard to get there that, yeah, the Sharks, and they haven't even been a top eight team. Same as Newcastle, I don't think they deserve there as well, but they're both there. It's been seven years for Newcastle and it's kind of made like the eight almost every year. I think next year they will not make the eight. So, yeah. So we got three teams remaining that I love so yeah uh, number three is the Penrith Panthers I like the Penrith Panthers pa Panthers I'm from Penrith myself um, they're a good team they're a, they're a happy team at the moment 
They they should be favourites to win the Premiership. They're favourites in my opinion. Uh, everyone's putting down on these Panthers, but no, nah, I reckon they'll go all the way this year. Um, the jerseys are brilliant. You got your pink Panthers. You got your nice black, and you got your white jersey. You got the nice oak on it. It's just everything's going good for the Panthers at the moment. They got a bloody brilliant squad. Um, and should go all the way, and I, I really like the Panthers, so, yeah. Uh, second place is my second team as of late, the Gold Coast Titans. Now, the Warriors and the Titans, they've done a lot this year. The Titans, they were at the bottom of the ladder. I remember they got f flogged by mm, 40 points by the Eels in round two. And uh, everyone was like, oh, yeah, these will be the Spooners again. They'll get back-to-back um, -back Spoons. But now they finish at ninth place. It, it's just brilliant. You know, um, they've, like, turned around and gone from the bottom of the eight to the top of the bottom eight. Yeah, they've shown lots of good signs this uh, year and next year. Many might tip them make the eight. It's crazy what you can do in a year. And, of course... Here, the Rabbitohs at first. You know I like the Rabbitohs. No explanation needed there. So this is the ladder. So at 16th, the Roosters, the Broncos, the Dragons, the Bulldogs, the Knights, the Cowboys, the Eagles, the Tigers at 9th. I always want them at 9th. The Storm, the Seagulls, the Raiders, the Warriors, the Sharks, the Panthers, the Titans, and the mighty South Sydney Rabbitohs. Go the Bunnies. And, um, yeah, this is 12 minutes long. Jesus. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Note that this is not um, my favourite teams. Like, I would I'll upsize these two and, you know, put the Tigers down and the Storm down. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And what is your dream ladder? Comment it down below. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.